Hello everybody and welcome to part 5 and the final part of my brick film tutorial. This is pretty much the finale. Um, we start off in Windows Movie Maker. Um, this is where the action happens and this is how we will make our video. Um, so, if you don't have Windows Movie Maker, it's a free download over at Microsoft.com. Very easy to use, a lot of fun, great program to have. It's definitely essential for um, any PC user, I think, if you are even partially interested in photos or videos. Um, so, um, this might have come pre-installed with your PC. I know it came pre-installed with mine. If not, you can go ahead and download it. Or if you have an old version, um, you might want to um, be careful downloading. It, um, if you have an older version pre-installed with your PC, it's probably best to leave it there because a lot of times if you install a newer version, um, like for example, um, if you have Windows Movie Maker installed 2012 and then upload a, upgrade to Windows Live Movie Maker, it can be kind of just, you know, the little, um, very, quite slow actually. Uh, so you want to try to choose which is best for your operating system. So I'm using Windows Live Movie Maker. It's pretty much identical to Windows Movie Maker 2012. Um, so if you're using Windows Movie Maker 2012 instead of Windows Live Movie Maker, I mean, you can pretty much follow this tutorial because it's about the same. So we're going to click to browse for photos and videos, and then we're going to go into pictures. And then we're going to, f or actually, um, wherever you put your pictures. Pictures for videos. Um, this is my folder where I put everything. And then we're gonna put all these in here. Just shift and then put them all in here. Okay, just put them all in there and we can sort through. Okay, so now while they're all selected, we're gonna go to the edit tab up right up here and change the duration to 0.1. Okay. You can see we have point one here, and then we're going to um, organize them. So I have these selected. And then I'm going to drag them to where I want them. Um, so let's put them close to the bottom. Right here. Um, and, and then I'm going to remove these, um, the ones I don't need. Um, just of the, um, random, or of the bricks, um, I don't need those. Then also of the lightsaber, um, that's not glowing, I don't need those either. Um, so all of these are in the right order, though, however. Um, so you can go in here, make your preview a little bigger. Okay, I like to see my, oh, that's good. I like to have my preview big. Um, okay, so um, you can go in here. It's going to be 26 seconds long. And you can add some effects and stuff. Let's go ahead and add a title. We go into title. Or um, actually, no. move it. Um, you can actually just make this one like two seconds long. And um, then go into caption. And you put your title there. Okay. Uh, okay, then we can set up our font. Um, the UI. Let me use because we're fun here. That's always fun. Okay, um, gold trees. <laughs> um, I don't know how they got their random font from a random foot program, but hey, it works. Uh, so go to th uh, 36. You can kind of resize it so that um, it doesn't show up too big. Um, actually, let's just put this up here. And then we can change our color, of course. 
to get in the arrow there below, and you can choose your color. I'll do bright yellow. Um, and there we go. Um, it's gonna be two seconds, and we go in here. Um, we can also add credits. Um, credits. You can do like a little section, um, however you want the credits to look, just customize them. Um, Um, you can edit all of this, I'm not really too worried about this, because I'm probably gonna not put this, I probably won't end up putting this on YouTube. Um, this is just for the sake of the tutorial. Um, you can put this in here, how long you want your text to be, and then how long you want your thing to be, the videos, the video tools, and then edit, and make it 10 seconds. Um, so then I'll go to the top here, go on the first slide, and then go full screen. Let's check it out. And you can see there um, that it came out really good, um, except for a few points. That's where you always want to preview it. Um, so you can see this looks awesome. The jumping. That looks cool. Um, but also, what if I want to make him go down? We're going to right click, go on copy, click on this one, right click, and paste. Right click, copy, right click, paste. We can, you know, let's do a few of these. Um, so we can go in here, just copy and paste all of these. Go to copy. And then paste it. I you know, I just may make them jump. Uh, let's do like four or five times. It's an interesting part of it. Okay, we got a crazy jumping stormtrooper. Um, and we can make this one a little bigger, a little longer, because it's kind of a more important part. It's the kind of focus in. So I always make those half of a second long, which actually doesn't seem very long in a normal video. Sometimes, I mean, if I'm doing a really slow stop motion, not a brick film, but like a stop motion music video, I'll even use that as the shot, as the speed. Sometimes for a very like dramatic part. Um, but this, it when you use one tenth of a second, you can see how this really looks like a zoom. Or like an important part, you can see there. It, it, it um, kind of just stops for a split second, just to show you, kind of give you a little more emphasis on it. Um, so then here, I have. I'm gonna put these here. Um, these are important to look at. So I just to make them one. And um, just because I want to emphasize like all the different phone choices that the minifigure has. So I'm gonna drag these and maybe into storming outside. Sorry about that. Perfect day to make a brick fall, actually. Um, storms are it's a great thing to do when you're bored inside. Um, so actually, I'm gonna show this here before he walks in. Um, kind of the choices that he has, and then you know he walks in. Um, so um, this actually came out really good. Um, I'm let's preview it, or actually, you know, um preview it one more time just to be sure and then I will um I'll show you um what it looks like in the end of the video I'll put it um like actually on the screen in the video you can see here oh, he's checking out the phone you know it's, um 
It looks really good. Um, you can see there he's shaking his head. Um, at that point, I'm going to, like, um, do a copy and paste. Um, so this really has nothing to do with the video, but I just put that in there, um, so you can see, um, how it looks. Maybe one more there, so just, you can be sure to see how it glows. It looks that I did, and, um, you can check that out on my channel right now. Really cool. Um, so the other thing that I want to do is go ahead in here and copy and paste some things as he's shaking his head. Um, because in this scene I'm trying to imply that he's shaking his head, he's saying that, like, he's like, um, that guy's kind of moving his head and saying, well, what do you think? And he's shaking his head saying, no, not for me. From here, I think, to here. Paste it a few times, so you really get the impression that he's saying no to it. So you can see he's saying no to it. Um, so the other thing that we want to do is look up some sound. So what kind of sound should we use? Well. I'm still I'm gonna go into add music here. I've downloaded some shopping mall ambience. So as if this was on a shopping mall. Um so I go in here. And here it's just some ambience. Or well, just some sound, you know, just stuff for some natural, just random you know, ambiance. Um so we go in here, we're gonna right click copy. Then right here, right click paste, and then it'll paste the sound so that we, it will cover the whole video. Um, and then for lightsabers, well, that's actually a great thing, um, it's fun to do this with lightsabers, um, with sound, so I've downloaded some sounds, just, um, Google around, find some stuff, just search for some stuff, you'll be able to find some, um, lightsaber stuff, um, like sites like Sound, um, I believe it's sound clip or sound snip stuff like that um there's free websites that give you free sound stuff like that so go in here remove go ahead and um cut the go to the part where you want to split it the go to music tools hit split and that's where you want um your other sound to go for the music to end with the sound so i'm going to go down here to here um to where i want the sound to begin the other sound and i get and music and lightsaber turn on right here Actually, um, I want it right here. And you leave it here. Okay. And you can see, um, I didn't really do the hilt. Um, but still it looks, um, you would do, show, you can make him, um, show the hilt. And then, um, have the thing come out on if you want that. Go to back up, just, um, like this was, a like my, um, a full length rig film. I'm going to be doing that. You can see that you can do black sound effects, lots of, lots of different stuff I and mean, that's cool I mean, there's your sound um and that's pretty much everything i'm gonna go ahead and you're gonna go ahead and save it you can also go into youtube um and save it to youtube and i'm just gonna call it um phone shopping um i like to save it as a windows media video file you can save it as an um mpeg or mpeg4 or whatever um you could save it but that's it for this tutorial. I hope this was very helpful. Um, this is the final part of this. Um, so if you missed any, be sure to go back. There's five parts um, to watch. Um, I hope this was really helpful. Um, and um, now you know you can make your own brick films um, with the right software and the right tools. Um, in a lot of time and patience, you can end up with a really cool brick film um, that you can enjoy. Um, hopefully you get some popularity off of, out of, um, off of it. Um, from YouTube, and even if you, no one really views it, um, you still have the satisfaction of knowing that you did it, um, which is really a lot of fun to just know that you created something that's really one of the easiest ways to make your own movies that really still looks professional, because it's not easy to go and, um, make like a live action movie with you as the actor, but it is easy to make, um, an animation movie with Legos, minifigures as the actor. 
Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and also be sure to check out my brick films on my channel as also as well as my own um, Lego stop motion music videos. Um, that's also on my channel there if you want some examples of what these brick films turn out to be like. Um, and be sure to stick around because um, right now I'm going to show you what the video actually came out like. So here it is.